Hi, it's John Canalopoulos here in our office in Athens, Greece. Uh, I want to share with you a very interesting case. Let's jump into the data on this very interesting patient. This is a patient who had undergone a cornea transplant several, several years ago. And uh, this is the cornea, how we encountered it la last year. And of worth here is that uh, his refraction gave uh, over eight doctors with stigmatism. He was uncorrected uh, count fingers. Uh, and he has this very peculiar sign. We've talked about this before. This is the cornea transplant, and this is the host cornea. And this gape here is stretching of the graft host interface from eye rubbing. It's classically inferiorly. The cell counts were pretty good. The cornea is not bad itself. You can see how the slit here thins um, immensely. I'm going to uh, pick up a few more pictures of interest. This is a OCT slice. You can see it. it it's at the uh, six to five o'clock position inferiorly. And you can see this same pathology here very nicely picked up by the Avanti uh, OptiView OCT. Uh, the, uh, the graph looks very good, good thickness, uniform, but the graph host interface is very thin. Remember the keratoconic patients keep their rubbing their eyes. So what we proposed here was to um, uh, open the incision as deep as we could, resuture the cornea and uh, treat with uh, a uh, annular uh, cornea cross-linking treatment in order to bring the cornea back into its original graph host interface position. So this is the cornea today. We're a year and so later. You can see that this gape does not exist anymore. Uh, today we took out uh, 12 o'clock and um, uh, 7.30 to 8 o'clock sutures that were loose and then the uh, one o'clock and the seven o'clock here because we had uh, topographically five diopters of astigmatism and he jumped to almost nil astigmatism and to an astounding uh, with one diopter of myopia uh, 2020. Now this is the summary here. This is how we started and this is the cornea topography and this is what uh, we're seeing from the gape down here. This is a right eye so we had a gape inferonasally a very large arc. As you saw, we resutured the whole cornea. And this is him today after removing the uh, one o'clock and the seven o'clock sutures. And we can see that the astigmatic shift is dramatic. Uh, we have uh, uh, over uh, 25 degrees of astigmatism corrected. This is the astigmatic change that this cornea underwent. And this is a pearl on how to deal with some of these eyes that uh, some people, when I was training, it was called recurrent keratoconus. You may fall into the trap and consider this a case for laser refractive surgery, PRK or LASIK. Uh, a problem here because uh, this definitely, treating the central cornea will definitely not solve the uh, gaping problem that we saw here. And by resuturing the cornea, you can um, enable, of course, with uh, some healing process involved, this patient to enjoy uh, tremendous vision. This is, it's been over 25 years since his original transplantation. Um, and um, it's still an almost closed eye procedure. So uh, remember, when we have high astigmatism in a cornea transplant, uh, the key thing to evaluate is the graft host interface. Fortunately, most of these fall within the pentacam maps. Pay attention to the pachymetry uh, maps on the pentacam and see if in that periphery of the graft, most grafts are eight to eight and a half millimeters. So right at the edge of that pachymetry map, try and seek for any area of significant thinning. We can, of course, pick it up on the slit lamp. And this is uh, definitely an alternative option. Instead of regrafting the patient, uh, uh, we can certainly just uh, open the incision subtotal um, resuture that we placed here, 16 interrupted sutures, uh, soaked the graph host interface with riboflavin and performed a flash cross-linking treatment in order to attain the results that we had today, which is a graph that looks like uh, it's been a year out, relatively good cell count. We're about uh, 1,200 cells. We're, as I mentioned, close to 30 years after the original transplant and a very, very happy patient. Thanks so much for your attention. This is John Canalopoulos here from our office in Athens, Greece, the Ambulatory Surgery Center, Laser Vision, and Clinical Professor of Ophthalmology at NYU Medical School. Thanks so much.